Here we are, we've made it to Springfield. And we're gonna go inside and see what kind of delicious offerings they have. So starting things off, they got the Bumblebee Man's taco truck as a welcome. Ay yay yay indeed. Probably delicious tacos in there. Got Lard Lad and his donuts right there. But what I'm interested in today is probably a crusty burger or something along those lines. I want to go in these places. Now, you have the facade of the crusty burger and you go inside, it looks like your regular fast food crusty burger type restaurant, but it's also connected to other things. And as we make our way down here, we come up on Moe's Tavern, which is also connected to the Krusty Burger. And when I mean connected, I mean you go inside a different way. I mean, you can enter into Moe's, obviously, but if you want to go to the Krusty Burger, you just got to go in back a bit, and I'll show you the side entrance. And then you got Cletus's Chicken Shack for all your chicken needs. So these places are all tied together. I guess with the exception of Moe's, Moe's is a usual bar setting, but between the, the Chicken Shack and the Krusty Burger, you'll see that it's a whole fast food uh, cafe, cafeteria type thing. So let's go inside. Should make any Simpson fan excited as we come through here. We got the love tester over there. I wonder if we could test our, let me test my love. Let me see if I'm feeling lucky. I don't know, I didn't give it a good squeeze. What am I? Probably weak. Hubba hubba. That's right, I'll take that. There we go. Here's a popular character that lives over here at Moe's. You got Barney looking for some more beer, it looks like, in his glass. His, his glass is a half empty, you would say. And then you got the traditional bar here where you can get all your good stuff. And they have a signature drink, which is called the Flaming Mo. If you remember that episode from The Simpsons, because I do. <laughs> Duff beer, you can get that. You know you want it, that's true. And then look, Moe's Tavern, home, birthplace of the Flaming Mo. And look kids, this is called a payphone. And those are buttons that you use to push to dial numbers. <laughs> In case you didn't know. Look at this fun place to sit. You can actually sit on the pool table and have your drink right here. And check out the billiards. It's not just a pool table. It's a cool table, I like it. Good one, little Jans. All right, let's go out of the bar now and over to the food. All right, we're starting things off with inside the Krusty Burger. It looks like a traditional fast food restaurant right here. But look, it's got this fun mural of all things Homer and some Simpson evolution there. Woohoo! All right, let's get some focus. Okay. Remember how I said it's like cafeteria? So you come inside here and there's different restaurants. There's other things. You got like a, a Lisa Treehouse of Horrors snack area right there. Luigi's Italian stuff. The Frying Dutchman fish area. Cletus's Chicken Shack, like I saw outside. The actual Krusty Burger window. And there you can get the Flaming Moe's. I just want to see what a crusty burger actually a crusty burger actually looks like. That looks interesting. <laughs> kind of piled on high. And now that I've mobile ordered my food as I wait, I'm going to chill here in Moe's Tavern, letting the Inner Simpsons fan get his due right here. Never always wanted to do this and enjoy the ambiance. Also want to point out that wonderful style of the television right there. That's a that's a 90s TV right there, if I ever saw one. <laughs> Just want to take a second to get a better look at the bar here and the cool stuff that's on the wall. A lot of Simpsons fan things. They even got the phone. Hello? Oh, nice. It's not working right now. It must ring periodically. That's fun. Oh well, I fall for that thing every time. And then look at the top shelf booze up there that they got. And you can sit here and actually order a Flaming Mo and have one right here at the bar. Or a beer. Is that a Duff beer? Yes, it is. Oh, it should be. Good job. Well done. I got the signature drink right here. It's called the Flaming Mo. 
and you see the bubbly goodness. It's like an orange cream float. I don't know how they make it bubble, but it's really cool though. That is awesome, so I'm gonna try that. Mmm, bubbles in my mouth. I like it. This is good. It's a, it's a fun bubbly orange soda. And the food, I got this delicious looking hot dog here with a side of tater tots. Look at that mess. It's just kind of all thrown right in there. I don't even see the hot dog. Looks good though. But this is fun. This is from Cletus' Chicken Shack. The chicken and waffle surprise right here. Look at that. That's weird. It is awesome. Chicken within between the waffles. I love it. And tater tots. Good. How'd you like your flaming mo? Thanks. You did nice? Tingles, doesn't it? All the way down. Um, there's four socks on the back of the side. Here we go. Chicken and waffle goodness. That is a fun, interesting thing that is. It's good. It's like chicken and waffles together. All right, some review time. The Flaming Mo is fun. I don't, how much was this? I don't think it was worth it. It was $9. Yeah, it's definitely not worth $9 because it was, is legit drinking orange soda. It's just bubbling. You're paying for the cup and the effect actually of the Flaming Mo. My chicken and waffles was good. All those others didn't like it, but I enjoyed it, and it had syrup. I thought it was fun. I would get that again, and the tater tots were good too. And then after you finish your Flaming Mo, it's almost like this bubbly sorbet at the bottom. <laughs> it's like this ice cream jilled thing. That It's a bonus treat. Isn't that right, buddy? Now you can eat it like that too. Well, there it is, folks. I had a nice little lunch here in Springfield. Enjoy my chicken and waffle sandwich. Probably would not get the Flaming Mo again, but the experience alone was pretty fun. And it is also great to check out the themed restaurants, especially if you're a Simpsons fan. But that's gonna do it for me. Until next time, I'm Johnny Jans here at Universal. And as always, I'll catch you out there. Hand ring around. Sometimes you wanna go where everybody knows your name. Wait a minute. That's another bar.